What is going on, YT? It's your girl, Josie. Welcome back for day 20 of Vita. Y'all, we'd have made it to day 20 of Vita. Day 20. And when I say it is not easy, you would think it's easy to pick up a video, a camera, or whatever. <laughs> I said a video. Pick up a camera, your phone, or whatever, and start filming yourself. You would think it's easy, but when you got so much other stuff going on, sometimes that time just pass by you and next thing you know it it's just oof okay so thank you everyone thanks to everyone that has been rolling rolling with the homie been rolling with me throughout this vita okay this vita it has really really opened my eyes to the type of content that I want to continue to post on YouTube, how I want to post, when I want to post, uh, who I want in my contents, how I want them in my contents, just, just in my videos and stuff, just everything, y'all, just everything. And with that being said, let's get to you for a moment. How was your day, sweetheart? I hope it was good. I hope it was lovely and highly favored. I hope it was as beautiful and as peaceful as your soul is. Yeah, I really, really do. I really do. Now, let's sit back and chit-chat for a second. So, I have been watching a show called Seeking Brother Husband. Seeking brother husband. You heard me. Seeking brother husband. You heard me, y'all. A lot of people want to say that the man on there is either bisexual, gay, or they're dealing with somebody else. That's not necessarily true. They could be 100% faithful to the woman that they're sharing. Yes, you heard me. The show is called Seeking Brother no, seeking brother husband, my bad. I think I said seeking brother sister. Seeking brother husband. I have to say, it don't surprise me. It don't surprise me, but I guess seeing it on national TV and up close and personal, not so much in my face, but that's as far as in my face that I have witnessed anything like this. It's shocking. So it's not really, it's not shocking at the fact that there's people out here that's actually living this way, but it's just shocking to actually see it. And it makes me think about the way that we think. Like we always think of, you know, sister wives and, you know, and all that type of stuff. And, you know, that's so common. Just like, to be honest with you, and I'm just going to throw it out there, my rainbow community, uh, it is what it is. Lesbians is more accepted than, you know, the gays, the men. And it just trips me out to actually see women out here that got multiple mates and the mates apparently allegedly are being completely faithful to them so there is this one couple i'm gonna talk i'm gonna speak on this one couple the other couples they're still good they're good to watch every couple on this show is very very interesting but this one couple that just stands out to me that i must speak out okay they're in houston shout out to all my texas people they're down in houston and the woman, actually, she has a husband. They have children. I want to say they have four children, maybe five, but I believe just four. And apparently, from what I get from it, all of the children are grown. And the children has accepted the fact that their mom and dad is, well, not so much their mom and dad is in an open relationship, but mom is out there being open and dad is being faithful to mom apparently that's how it's being presented and she has a living boyfriend yes i said a living boyfriend that is planning a 
commitment ceremony that his parents is not going to because they don't approve of the of the relationship. I don't want to say situation. Relationship. And even the husband parents is not coming because they don't approve of it. At the same time, the woman, the queen of the relationship, basically she told her boyfriend that she's fallen out of love, like the love isn't there anymore. And that's why she wants to go for a third person. The same reason why the love, basically the same situation with her husband. The love wasn't there anymore. And so that's kind of where the openness came. And yeah. So the same situation that happened to with her and her husband, as far as like falling in love, allegedly, is out of it. And she wants to feel love and all that type of stuff. Y'all, when the confessions came, it boiled down to her six. Why did I just tell y'all? Why did I just tell y'all my last video? The reason why women cheat is what? Why did I just tell y'all? And even if you listen to most of the other women, it's sex. Mm -hmm. Sex. Mm -hmm. Which there ain't nothing wrong with that. I mean, if your partner's okay with you getting down, get down. I mean, by all means, get down, get down. I says the cat, okay? Get down, get down, get down, get down. But she's open for a third party. Now, with that being said, sister girl already got a third party in mind, okay? Third party is actually second party from what it sounds like, okay? Allegedly. So the third party is an ex of hers that was the first guy that she fell in love with after her husband was okay with her stepping outside of their marriage. But at that time, he didn't understand why she needed more. So he exit stage left. Now he's coming back into the picture because he said he understands now plus he is not in the position where he could just be in a committed relationship. So he understands more now and want to see what it do or tap that thing again. Tap that thing again. And he is handsome. His name is David. He is handsome. Now the other one, the boyfriend that she's already with that's playing at the commitment ceremony his name is Tiger. Now, I don't know if that's his real name or what, but his name is Tiger. And they're also looking for a house. The husband, her, and Tiger. Not David, but the husband, her, and Tiger. Because right now, the home that they stay in is a two-bedroom. The husband has his own room. And the wife and Tiger has their room together. She need a three-bedroom now. So that the husband have his own room, Tiger has his own room, and for her to have her own room with David. We know it's about to be her and David, okay? We know. But she needs her own room so she can be with David. So she can be with David. So she could date, okay? She needs her own room. And she's giving him a time frame and everything. Y'all, when I say this show is very interesting, and it's so interesting because me and my coworker was talking recently about how she was listening to a uh, podcast, and the podcaster had said that women basically need to go ahead and accept the fact that men these days, you would never have a man just to yourself because women outweigh the men so nine out of ten or ten out of ten according to who she was listening to you might as well accept the fact that your man is with somebody else openly that way you know openly or you get you know not accepted not accepted so it, it trips me out that that is going on but then this is going on. And when I say these men got it going on, most of the men on this show, educated, got good jobs, very independent, very dependable men. Uh, Just, oh my goodness. Like it's another couple. The guy named is, I want to say Valentine, handsome. And he's coming into the picture of the married couple. 
And y'all, y'all, y'all have to go check out Seeking Brother Husband. Okay, with well, Valentine, honey, Valentine. By the way, the couple that I did just speak of, African American couple. Maybe it makes something else, but African American couples, African American men, African American women. Anyway, Valentino and I'm, Valentino and Valentine. I forgot which one. I think it's Valentine. He's African-American as well. He may be mixed some, but he appears to be African-American. Uh, African-American. And uh, he's dating an African-American woman that is married to, I forgot her name, her husband name. And basically, she's seeking out someone because she wants a baby. Now, her husband has children that's grown, but she wants a baby of her own. Now, you may say, why she just want to have a baby with her husband? Well, allegedly, they both carry the cell for sickle cell, okay? So, having a baby with each other, in her eyes, is out of the option, which I can completely respect that. So, she is seeking somebody that is willing to be a father, to be a companion with her, and have a baby and all that, and Valentine. And it just makes me think because being single, I have been single for a while now. And it's like some days, every once in a blue moon, I'm like, you know what? I want to fall up. I want a relationship. I want a companionship. I want that one person I can call. Then when I really, really start thinking about it, I'll be like, mm-mm. So I can't even imagine having more than two or three guys at one time. I just can't. First of all, I'm not a good cheater because uh, I will tell on myself. So even if I was to do something like that, my main dude or my husband, whatever, will have to know. Will have to know. And it just trips me out like, Wow. Wow, but y'all, it's a good show. It is a good show. Go check it out. Again, it's called Seeking Brother Husband. It is already at the 12-minute mark. I'm about to close this out. You know how we do. Like always, y'all, treat people with kindness because you never know what they are going through. <laughs> Peace and love, y'all. Day 20. Mm -hmm. They said I wouldn't do it. They said, they said, they said I wouldn't do it. Day 20, y'all. Peace, love, soul. Bye. Bye.